Anytime I see somebody get that ball, I want them to feel me. First and ten, and he's hit in the backfield. I want them to look for me whenever they catch the ball. The end sweep, hit in the backfield, and losing yardage. I want them to know that number 44 is coming to get him. Line hands it away to Tanner. Tanner hit hard by Canoris. I'm more of a player just to go and get it, you know, see ball, hit ball. Those prophetic words came from Canoris Davis a week before lacing up against Middle Tennessee State. And it became very apparent to the Blue Raiders that what Canoris wants, Canoris gets. It was that attitude that drove the sophomore linebacker to his eight tackles and forced fumble in the battle for the Palladium. The nationally televised game was more than enough for Davis to win the title of the Sunbelt Conference Defensive Player of the Week. His level of play is something teammates are very happy to see. I love to see that out there because, you know, I have the same uh, drive upon myself, you know, wanting to make every single play no matter the distance of the field, um, you know, and for another spark to be out there with another spark, um, that's a that's a big blast. That's a big kaboom. This award comes to Davis a month after he collapsed on the field after the Bowling Green game with bruised lungs. A strong work ethic, high character, and raw athletic ability show the type of heart Davis has. If you just knew everything that boy has been through to get to the field, uh, you know, working and toiling to to, to be a good enough student. Uh, that, and he's working his fanny off and, and uh, doing everything we've ever asked him to do. He runs into stuff so fast and so hard, sometimes the ground hurts him. But, uh, you know, he is a tremendous kid, boy got a huge heart, wants to play, plays fast, fast, fast. Davis will attempt to see ball, hit ball a few more times this weekend against the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette. Matthew Russell, Troy Trojan Vision Sports.